Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, so today we are going to continue with the uh, data set of FIFA 2018 and we'll be using Tableau to analyze this data. Um, today we are going to go through some uh, questions. So we are going to do some analysis on the age. So we are going to see the variation, for example, of the different attributes, um, uh, aggression, agility, wage, uh, depending on the age. Uh, so this is what we are going to do. So I recommend you uh, watching the first two videos of this series if you want to understand the whole exercise we are doing and also because in the first two videos I explain how to do some uh, calculated fields that we'll be using uh, during this, um, uh, this activity in this analysis. Okay, so let's start. So we are here in Tableau and we are going to just go into our data. So if you haven't done it yet, you just need to upload the CSV file onto your Tableau. Um, so when it's a CSV, you just need to click on um, text file and add your file. So I already done it, so this is why I'm not doing it, but you will only look at it here. This is what we are going to do. I'm just going to show you. So the idea is that we want to see this. We want to see by age um, what is the wage variation of our players. Okay, so I already done it, but I'm going to show you how we did. Um, so the first thing we need is to graph the dimensions and the and the measures that we need to make our graph. So we have the first dimension is going to be age, and we're going to take it and put it in the columns. So you see, uh, so automatically uh, Tableau is going to uh, propose um, bar analysis, but we don't want that, uh, but we can change that after. Okay, so age, we have it, and now we want to uh, see the wage, how the wage uh, varies upon age. So we're going to take our wage and we're going to put it in the line. So we want to see um, in the axis, uh, we want to see the wage. The first thing is that we need to change um, here the measure to take the mean instead of the sum. So now we see this. Okay, so automatically uh, Tableau is going to propose a line, but you might also have um, only the, the points. So something like this, or maybe you have just this, let's see. So you can only see the points. So if you want to draw a line between them, you just can ask a line. My default option is that uh, is going to take in, uh, in consideration all the data points and is going to provide a tendons or a trend line here, you see. But this is because I already um, set it up. This is what we will have if um, the trend line was not available. So in order to show it, I just need to click uh, right on the graph. So be sure you don't take one of the points because if you choose one of the points, then it's going to draw a uh, trend line, but also the line that goes through that point with the mean. So I don't want that. So I just need to click on the middle of the graph without taking any. And I'm going just to say that I want to see a trend curve. So if you don't have this, it's because you haven't defined yet what type of curve or what type of relationship you have between them. So if you can see this is a square relationship, that means that uh, wage goes up until one certain uh, age, and then it starts going down faster as it went up. So this is kind of a, um, a square relationship. So um, for changing, so in case you have like just a line that is going up or down, like a linear regression, then you have to say that you want to modify that. So you just say modify, and you are going to change that linear model to a polynom and you are going to give it two degrees. So two degrees because it's a square relationship. So I've already done it. So you see now you have this and this is showing that um, the age of 30 is the golden age, right? Where the players get the best uh, salary, the best wage. And then, of course, uh, the older they get, the, the less they, they get pay. Now we can uh, also see uh, these true um, bars. 
So sometimes bars is better to, to understand our data so we can change that and we'll see uh, the same trend. We could see what is the variation of age and value against age, right? So we want to see that. So I will just, so I have already my variation of wage. I just need to know how my, um, how the value of players in the market varies also according age. So I just need to add here in the lines the other variable that I want to see. So it's value, so I'm going to look for value here, um, which is there, and I'm going to put it just, um, so you have now two graphs, right? But what we want to see is just to have both in the same um, graph, so using the same axis, because age is the same axis for both. So for doing that, you just need to click on the little arrow just next to value, and you're going to say that, well, first you're going to change the measure. So we don't want the sum, but we want the mean. And then you are going to say that you want the double axis. You see, so now we have both. Um, the wage is in orange and the mean of value is in red. So, but then it's not quite easy to see that like that. So you can change that, the, um, the the way you visualize one of the two variables here. So value, I'm going to leave it like this. So in bars, but I'm going to change the wage into a line. So you have here, you see, um, this is the wage and this is the mean. So I'm going to modify the wage and I'm going to say that I don't want uh, bars, but I want to have a line. So now I have a line just um, over uh, the value. So it's easier, but I would like to have it on um, on top because otherwise I can't see. So for doing that, you just need to grab here, you know, the wage, you have the wage and the value, you just need to um, change it. So now I have um, the mean of uh, the value for each, for the players, and I have also um, the wage. Okay, so we can see that at the beginning, let's say that the wage is, is quite, um, fitting the value in the market, but then uh, the older the player gets, then the wage gap, the gap between wage and value is a little bit higher. So it means that probably even if they have a value market that is decreasing, they cannot decrease the wage as fast as the market value. Okay, so now we want to see how um, uh, age has an influence on the different attributes or the different uh, variables here. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I just need to put age on the columns. So I just grab it here. And then I want to uh, see each one of this, right? But uh, for doing that, um, either I can just take one by one. Um, so. I just take the mean and I can do this one by one uh, or I can do, for example, I want to see is acceleration against, uh, I don't know, let's say agility. So it's kind of um, the same thing that we did just before. So we need the double X. Uh, so now I have agility is in orange and acceleration is in blue. Um, so, okay, so this is quite interesting, right? Uh, so this is something we could do, um, but um, so then if you take a third one, so it's kind of complicated and you cannot change the um, the axis here. So I cannot have three uh, different um, variables here. So this is not the way to go. Um, so this is why I have created a parameter. Um, so if you don't know how to create a parameter, just uh, go to the first video where I explain how I create this parameter. So what I did in reality is that I put all these um, different uh, measures in one parameter so that we can have a scroll list here and that we can change parameter by parameter and we'll see the variation on those. So the first thing is creating the parameter. So if you don't know how to do it, just watch the first video of this series. Um, so what we need to do is we are going to take um, the attribute uh, average measured, which is the calculated field that I created for my parameter. 
and I'm going to put it on the lines. So you see I have now um, each of those is going to show here. Um, so um, you need to just be sure that your parameter is shown. So you have to say uh, show parameter. So it means that it will be visible here so you can change it for whatever you need. And uh, to be sure that when you're looking at the graph, you know what parameter you're seeing, even if you can have it here, you can also add the label that you've created also with the calculated field. So you add the label to the line. So now you know that it's agility that is that we are uh, looking at. And we just need to change here the parameter we want. So this is um, how agility um, varies against age. So it's also uh, going down. Now I want to see aggression and aggression seems to also go up with age up until let's say what, 32 years old and then it starts going down. Then I can see also the overall potential is kind of um, kind of steady in time. Um, acceleration, it's going down with age and so on. So it's quite interesting to see this. And you can just add um, a curve tendency to see what are those. So you can just add it here. So in the stake, I don't know. Um, aggression so we can see aggression is kind also of um, a square um, model so you just need to click on the center and say okay I want to create a trend curve you create it so uh, automatically it's going to create this right like straight line so because it's by default it's linear but this is not quite um, fit it for our model. So if you see, for example, the air square is 0 0.01, which is uh, too low, so it's not fitted. So we are going to change the, the um, curve here. And we are going just to say that I want to modify the curve and that we are going to use a polynom, which is uh, with two degrees, because of course, I'm talking about the square um, model. So I say, okay. And now, uh, if we take, uh, if you go and see your uh, line, you can see that the error uh, square has uh, increased uh, enormously with a p-value that is um, significant. So it means that the model now is well-fitted and better than, than the linear. So it means that uh, I'm really explaining 80% of the variance here with this model and that the significance is pretty good because it's lower than 0 0.0001, okay. Uh, so this is what you can do with each of the, um, of the attributes. So probably um, when you change from attribute, you just need probably to change the type of, of uh, curve, trend curve. So now we want to see whether this trend stays uh, the same if I only take the top player. So I want to see what happens with only taking the top player. So this is how we do. Um, so we are going to do the same, pretty much the same. So let's start with the wage. Um, so I'm going to just take um, the dimension age uh, on the columns and then the wage will go on uh, the lines. Okay, so I have the same thing that I have here right it's the same thing right so i have the same thing but i just want to see uh this trend only for the top 10 players so how do i do that so what we need to do is we need to select those top 10 players based on the overall their overall score so, okay, so we don't need to add the parameter to show anymore. So we can say don't show. And so we are going to take our dimension name. Uh, so this is how we choose um, the players that we want to have. And we are going to put it on filters. So automatically it's going to open this window and it's going to tell us, okay, which people, or which uh, players do you want? Okay, so you could choose just, um, like manually if you if you knew what were the top players but since i don't know i'm just going to tell tableau to tell me what are the first 10 players 
So I'm going to choose just one new, uh, I'm going to see a filter where I only have the tap, top 10. So I choose here top first. I want about to tell me what are the top 10. So the first top 10 based on uh, whatever I want. So let's see, I uh, want to see what are the top 10 based on overall. What are my top 10 players? And I'm going to say that I want the mean. Okay. Uh, so now it has selected what are those players who have a, the better overall um, score. So you have Neymar, you have a, um, De Gea, Azar, Cross, Lewandowski, Iwain, Sergio Ramos, Neuer, Messi, and Cristiano Ronaldo. So you see, uh, we can see a trend here on their ages. So of course, it's going to position each of the players on the appropriate age. So it means that Neymar in 2008 was 25 and Messi was 30. So we can see that the trend is not quite the same. Now we want to see the same thing, but um, upon their uh, scores in other attributes. So I, I guess that uh, there will be a less variation uh, on my top 10 players uh, on the different attributes because they score really well. So I don't, I don't expect any kind of variation or any kind of um, a square relationship between the attribute and the age. So this is what I have here. And this is what you can do. So it's the same thing. So now we are going to use our parameter. So you just need to... Uh, show the parameter here. So I have it here. And you are going to, again, choose um, the attribute average measure and you're going to put it in line. And uh, age will be still in columns. And you need to put the name uh, dimension on the filters. And again, you say that you want to have only the top 10 based on the overall score, based on their mean, and just show me how they go, right? So I have the same uh, players, but uh, now I can see what is the variation upon the different attributes. So for example, potential is quite stable. Um, aggression, well, there is nothing going there. I cannot see any trend here. Um, agility, it's also kind of uh, nonsense. So there is no quite a relationship between age and uh, agility, or at least not the one we saw with the whole population. So you see, there is no real um, trend here. So there is no need to have a curve. And this is also because we have only 10 uh, data points. So it's really difficult to find a trend between 10 data points. So that's why also it doesn't happen Okay, so that's all for this uh, video. We will continue analyzing uh, FIFA 2018 data with Tableau in the following uh, videos. So thank you for being here and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this content. Bye bye.